I hear you, I hear you. But here is why that is not going to work. The damage is done on consumers' mind with that smear campaign. However you spin it, if you do not change the face of the product, to them it's the same thing. Oh, rebranding, change packaging, send out a press release, do an ad campaign, get a few famous faces, Samuel Eto, Stanley Yeno, Daphne, take a peek. Put some money in their pockets, they endorse it with a smile and you are back in business like this never happened. Are you kidding me? I am the best at what I do. Ndifo. Ndifo, listen. I need 10 billboards in 10 major cities across the country for 12 months. That is one whole year we're talking about. So give me a good deal. Are you serious? You know what? Maybe I should just call Dashako. I want to help you. Help me help you. If you want to think about it. Are you serious? Well, I thought you were a professional. You know what? Have a nice day. la semaine prochaine. Là, tu me retiens le projet. Le mois prochain, je suis au Sénégal. Alors là, c'est pas possible. Ce qui veut me savoir. Me savoir. Who are you? What oh, do you want? I'm, I'm, I'm Brian. I'm the new... What do you want? Well, the meeting starts in five minutes. I'll be there in 15. Ma'am, um, everybody is waiting. Do you see me on the phone? Oui, François. No, là, c'est pas possible. Deux semaines. Who? What? Where? How? With millions of people in the world. Brings us to the media. Earned, bought, and owned. You need them to cut your product across. The target. Are you targeting the fans, strangers, or customers? What marketing strategy would you use to ensure that this product gets to as many people as possible in the shortest time? Q. Me? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh... <clears throat> What I'll do is to make sure I put my ad campaign on a major television right before prime time 
TV series, so that way I'm sure that at least 90% of the country would have seen the advert uh, once within the month. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a true amateur. Mm-hmm. A novice. Just like I expected. You made a hasty decision. Not taking into consideration what you product is, and what demographic you're targeting. So, wasted art, wasted resources. But you tried. Hopefully, by the end of your internship, you must have learned something. That brings us to Target. Because everybody there was just having so much fun. And then suddenly, it started to flow. So I was like, what? You know, at first they were, Three weeks. Three weeks of what? I've been here three weeks and she still doesn't know me. She doesn't have to. That's not why you're here. For her to know me. And today, she kicked me in the balls. <laughs> so that is to tell you your place. <sighs> what a woman. That's her place. Yeah, in thing. No funny ideas. Yes. Let's be precise with the blue. It should be dominant. Of course, two weeks and... Let me call you back. Hey, Mel. Don't hey, Mel me. You kept me waiting for like six hours. Don't be dramatic, girl. I'm only 12 minutes late. Well, at least you made it this time. Unlike the usual. Okay. I'm sorry. Can we eat? Well, I could go on, but I'm starving. So, how's work? How's it going? The usual, stressful, with people not willing to work. And the project you're telling me about, how's that been along? <laughs> That's a some other day. Candy. Hmm. Are you trying to be polite to me, or is that a, a stalker you're trying to avoid? Polite? Mm -hmm. To whom? Me. No, please. Hmm. I take it as a stalker then. My mom. Then why not pick up? That's because I know what she wants to say. She says the same thing every time she calls, and I'm so not in the mood right now. I can imagine what that is. I bet you can. I've been thinking, actually. About? You know, the whole man thing. It's been a while, a little more than a while since you actually had one. She need a good man. You know what I mean? I mean, how do you, you know? The last thing I need right now is a man. I mean, men are so shallow up there. It's empty. It's just not worth it. Enough for me right now. Make time. Can we have fun? You look tense. Ugh. I'd have my fun in heaven. There are no men in heaven. Whatever. If you understand what I'm saying. Remember the last time? Six months. I was a wreck. I'm not going to go through that again. Not this time. Whatever. But on a serious note, you really, you really need to... I would so love to continue with this very interesting conversation. But my break time is over, so 
Let's do this some other time. Mm. Like we will heal. I do. You should have stayed the night at her place. You better not have me wait up for you. Nobody asked you to wait. You don't have to. That's what a good wife does. There are other things a good wife does. I don't see you doing them. I can see you take delight in her. Enjoy yourself, Rich. This is exactly why I come home late. Hoping you're already asleep. Better luck next time. this for me. It, it's bread. Whatever. Ten copies. Now. Hello? Candice Ayok. Are you avoiding my calls? Haven't you seen my missed calls? Sorry, Mom. Sorry I did not call. You always plan to call, but somehow you never do. Okay. I promise. I promise I'll make it up to you. Just tell me how. There is only one thing I want from you, Candice, and you know it. Bring me a man. Work isn't all there is to life, you know. Give your life some meaning. Mom, I'm getting old. I want to see it happen before I go. Mom. Okay. Yes, I have a man in my life. Fantastic. Good. It was meant to be a surprise. Now you know. Well, so that means you both can make it here this weekend, right? And if you say you have a man, I want to see you both this weekend. No more waiting. I could die any minute. Okay. Fine. See you this weekend. And that's why you called me here? Yes. Candy. You said it was an emergency. Do you know what I had to leave to be here? It's an emergency. Your mom calls you to come visit her for the weekend. That should not be a problem. Not unless she's expecting me with a man. My man. And why would she do that? Because I told her I had one. What? Why? 
I was trying to get her off my case. How was I supposed to know she would get this creative? Ooh. Hello, lunch is ready. No, I can't. I have to go. I'm late. What's so important that you can have lunch before leaving? Lunch? Excuse me? I'm going out for lunch. Sweetheart, you see, I already made lunch. What is wrong with this one? Nothing. I just feel like eating out. Alone. Rich. Please don't start. Rich, have you done this? So that gives you what, like three days to get a man? How do I do this? Well, the easy way right now is to look at a list of your exes. Who do you hate the list? I hate them all. That's as much as I can recall. But what other option do we have? Ooh, what a Peter. He was less heartless. Marriage. James. A pig. Ooh, Ewane. Another pig. And Carl. A super pig. Come on, Mel. Stop. And what makes you think I would want to beg an ex to take me for a weekend? That's pathetic. OK, I hear you. Let's keep thinking. Think, Mel. Think. Where do I get a man for this weekend? No. No. What other option do we have? Unless you have something else, that is the answer to your question. I don't even know his name. And what makes you think he wants to help? Just ask him. You never know. It's one weekend. What's the worst that could happen? Also, you need to be like open. Yeah. Did you notice that? I noticed. I noticed. But anyway, um, you're buying lunch. Uh, I'm giving you a drink. No, 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 no. Full lunch. I always buy full lunch. I'm not buying any half drink. Brian? Ma'am? You're becoming a communications engineering genius. Wow. You've come a long way. Well done. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. I see you all are heading for a lunch break. Uh, yes, we were, but if you need me to do anything... Oh, no. But do want to see me once you return. On the phone, Elena. Say something. Sorry, what? I know how serious this might sound, but it's not. I promise. And you'll be doing me a huge favor. Now it makes perfect sense. I don't get your meaning. This explains your change in attitude towards me, your niceness, your politeness. You even remembered my name. <laughs> this is what it's about, right? You were bothering me up for this, weren't you? You want me to pretend to be your man for the weekend. Tell me, why in God's name would I want to help you? Because I'm paying. You know what? Let's just forget about this. I'm sorry. Sorry I asked. Thank you. 
when do we leave? Tomorrow, 12 p.m., I pick you up at the junction. Be on time. I'll be there by one. Good afternoon, ma'am. And you must be him. Yes, ma'am. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Ma oh. It's nice to finally meet you. I've heard a lot about you. You're welcome. Thank you. And I have heard absolutely nothing about you. But that's all right. It just gives us plenty to talk about, doesn't it? Yes, ma'am. Please, come in. Come in, come in. You're welcome to my home. Thank you. Those meatballs are for your sister. You know, it's hard to believe that you on the wall. Why? Because you looked human. N no offense intended. None taken. Now let's get some rules here. Rules? Mm-hmm. Rule number one. You don't talk unless you're spoken to. Don't give your opinion on anything. And please, 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 don't try to be smart. Any questions you don't know the answer to, just smile. I'm sorry, is it a man you want or a puppy? Don't be smart. Hi, Mel. Yes, we are. Good so far. My bag? No, why? Really? Okay, hold on. Are you crazy? What made you think I need those? 
I never know? On the contrary, I do know. I will so get you on this one. Trust me. You're crazy. Fifteen years. Can you believe it's been fifteen years since he left us? Fifteen years and I still miss him as if it were yesterday. Do you know why? I'm guessing you tell me. We had something special. Two hearts beating as one. So even though he's not here, I still miss him every single day. That is what I wish for you, Candice. A good home, a good man. Just like your sister. Can't you see how happy she is? You used to be a happy child, Candice. What happened to you? Mom. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait. Your sister is here. Just... Someone has a man. I would like to hear all about him. Here? He's right here. You can oh. actually see him. You know what that means, Rage? Like every time we have a family meeting, you have a man to talk to. <laughs> oh, please, let's go inside. I'm sure you're hungry. Well, dinner is getting ready, but I got your grandma's favorite cakes. Oh. Have that for snacks first. Oh, yes. Come on, <laughs> So, tell me, Brian, what do you do for a living? Oh, um, I'm an, an internist. Inter an internist. <laughs> oh, wow. I've not met too many of those. Have you reached it? I think, but not, not, not too often. That's because I'm one of the three of such uh, doctors in the country. <laughs> wow, a doctor. Candice, just like your father. I'm impressed. Hmm. One of the th three. You must be a very busy man. Oh, yeah, well, I do my best, you know, trying to save the world one diagnosed patient at a time. And what does your job consist of? Uh, oh, Christelle, mom tells me you left your job. What was the problem? The pay wasn't good enough? <laughs> the pay was good. Just, it wasn't very challenging. I, I quit. And how did you two love pets me? Oh, I in work. Douala. Oh. <laughs> Working in, in, in Douala. Douala. Mm. That's very interesting. I would love to hear all of Can that. Can we just eat now, please? I'm sure we'll have plenty of time to catch up. Mm -hmm. Yes, sure. This is really nice, by the way. Yeah, yeah. 
I'm glad right. you like it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> this is just for the weekend. You can do this. Come on. Two more days. Two more days, Candy. Be strong. You're scaring me. Who are you talking to? Nothing. I was just going through some office work. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you say so. Put on that shirt. It's hot. Be a man. He'd never killed anyone. Whatever. <sighs> what are you doing? Getting on the bed. You know, for a smart person, that's a not so smart question to ask. You get the pillow on the floor. No, I get the bed. Why? For starters, I go here first. <laughs> you don't get to make that decision. This is my house. And I'm your guest. What kind of host are you? You know what? As your guests, I'm willing to share my bed with you. That's if you make your peace with it. There's more than enough room on this bed for the both of us. Now, while you think about that, permit me to bid you good night. On the floor or on my bed. Good night, Candy. <laughs> What have I done again this time? I'm not in the mood. What was that out there? What? You're getting at your sister. What were you trying to prove? It's nothing. We do that all the time when we are together. <laughs> Ever since we we're kids. Well, you're not kids anymore. And I don't see her acting the same way towards you. You seem to be the one enjoying it every time you get together. You're not on this time. Maybe not. And the next time you want to play the fool, give me a hint. 
so I can leave the room. Is Candy is morning. Mommy needs us in the kitchen. Oh. <coughs> uh, tell her I'll be down in a minute. Okay? Aren't you supposed to be with your mother and sister in the kitchen? <laughs> Did you see them? And who told you they needed me? This is supposed to be our vacation. What are you doing working here? Figures. Figures. I can't get this report right. And I'm supposed to present this on Monday to the manager. <laughs> Let me have a look. What are you supposed to know about this? <laughs> Let me see. Oh, here. This is what is missing. You didn't factor in the variables. See, there's no way you can get the answer you desire if you don't factor in the variables. Right here. I've been stuck on this for days, and you just figured it out. In a flash. How did you do that? Um, don't judge this book by color. You're welcome. <laughs> You've been married five years. Yeah, five years. Wow. That's graceful. I see both of you have it pretty figured out. So, tell me, you and Candy, how long? Uh, we've, uh, we, we've been together for a while. It's been a while? Yeah, I mean, you know, things have been 
overwhelming. We've lost track of time. I mean, you know how it is. I can imagine. She's a good person. Just caught up in her personal share by lessons life has taught her. If you're the person to stand the test with her, you better see it through that share. You know what I mean? Why did you pick a good one? Excuse me? Ryan. You know, he looks not so hideous, so congratulations. You know, Chris, love is not all about looks. Don't tell me you're not enchanted by how he looks. It, the chest. His arms. Are you? I'll be if you had mine. Reasons why I don't understand why you're not all over that body of his. What are you driving at, Crystal? Why on earth would you be sleeping on the floor and not on that hot body of. Oh, there you are. Mm -hmm. right. How's that back of yours? Oh, much better. Thanks. See, I told you sleeping on the floor would help. <laughs> it did. What would I do without you, uh, Mr. Doctor? Uh, well, I'm going to have a shower now. Uh, come join me. Sadly, I just freshen up. But guess what? I'm mm -hmm. still joining. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, darling. See you in a bit. Okay. All right, then. <laughs> hey. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, back to you. Just so you know, not everyone spends their last minute thinking about bumping privates. We all are not robots, Chris. Mba, that is from the Northwest, right? Yes, ma'am. Interesting. As long as there is love, nothing else matters. That's true. Brian, Mba, you look like a decent man. Thank you, ma'am. So, Tell me, what do you see in Candy? Why should I trust you with my daughter? Well, she puts a smile on my face. She's that strong, smart woman that makes my heart skip a bit. Honestly, ma'am, there is absolutely nothing I'd rather do than to gaze into her pretty eyes. Then what are you waiting for? Make an honest woman of my daughter. Why wait? I could die in a minute. God forbid it, ma'am. You're not dying. Then do something. Do something, Brian. Ah, 
Are you okay? I'm just going through this book. It was the last thing my dad bought for me before he passed on. <laughs> Daddy. Always eager to teach me something new. I'm sure he'll be very proud of you. Proud of the person you've become. Sure he would. So what's this thing between you and your sister? This rivalry? We've been like that ever since I can remember. Really? When dad was alive, things were pretty much even. I was the girl who would read her books until she fell asleep. And my sister was the... the baby, you know. The girly fashion survey and all that. I was closer to my father. I was eager to learn. He knew a lot and was eager to teach me. My mom and sister found a passion in all things girly to bond over, you would imagine. To mom, Krista was the one she saw herself in. And I really didn't mind that. Until Dad passed on. From then, Crystal became the yardstick to which I was measured. and I never met the mark. Forever stuck in her shadows. In her mind, anyways. <sighs> so... Krista always tries to be on top of me. For some reason... <laughs> She's always competing for mother's attention. And always tries to make me look bad. <sighs> Thank you for saving me today. You did that just the right way. That's why I'm here. Hey, um, be strong. You're doing just fine. So tomorrow, all this ends and we leave. 
No more pretending. Yeah. No more pretending. It's just a cockroach. See, it's dead. Now, go back to bed. Who? Where? This bed. What if another one comes there? Can I sleep with you? You really think the best place to be is on the floor if you're avoiding another one? Good night. Everybody ready? You look amazing, my dear. Thanks, Mom. We're running late. Let's leave. Come on, come on, come on. I'd like to say, I'm really happy you all could make it here this weekend. I really felt like we needed this Thanksgiving to thank God for seeing us through since your father passed. <laughs> I'm glad to have you all here. And Brian, it was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you, ma'am. I hope I get to see you soon. You should know what that means. I could die any minute. Candy, I am particularly glad you could make it with all the work you say you have. Mom, I'd be here often if I could. I've just been very busy with work. I am um, <clears throat> some few other things by the look of it. Crystal, what is your problem? Can I have a minute talk with mom without you interrupting? Oh, you want to talk with mom now? What is that supposed to mean? Exactly what I say. Will you two stop? No, mom. I've had it year with Crystal always doing this. Last I recall, you were talking to me. Why does she always have to interrupt? It's not news you're avoiding her. You don't even take her calls. So what if I don't take her calls? What is she? <coughs> mom. Hello? <coughs> Amy, are you OK? Mom. Ryan, do something! Mom. Amy, are you okay? Mommy. Mom. Hold still, hold still. Mom. I'm sorry. What? I have some water. What's wrong? It's okay. Candy, what's the meaning of all this? Did you realize something could have gone wrong with mom? Candice. <clears throat> Candice, why would you do this, child? <clears throat> Lie to me. 
Why? Fifteen years, mother. Fifteen years I've been playing catch up to your perfect child. Fifteen years I have tried. And fifteen years I have fallen short. Always second in your books. Candice, what are you saying? I have loved you both since your father passed, giving you all the love I could as a mother. Yes, you gave. You gave, Mom. But somehow Candice always gets the short end of the stick. Crystal is always the best. And somehow I was good with it. But how, but how come nothing I do is good enough? I'll never be as good as Crystal. Crystal always gets the best. Stop, you're hurting, Mom. Just stop it, Crystal. You win. I gave up. You have nothing to prove any further. Save all your victory. I'm officially the bad one. The rotten egg. The one who has to rent a man to present to her mom. Candice Hayok Eta. The clumsy one. The one who never does anything right. I'm sorry for the embarrassment. I'm sorry. And by the way, Mom, I too love meatballs. Everybody does. I think it's time for us to go. And don't pretend like you care. I've seen the way you look at her. Who? The maid. Since the one who hired me for the weekend, what do you care? to be okay. You don't have to pretend like you care anymore. We're back. The deal is done. Can they understand you're Just upset? Just leave, Brian. Leave. Get the way. 
It was horrible. Why did I have to do this? I should have just been myself. But no. I mean, you didn't know this was going to happen. I didn't. I didn't have to. Why did I have to impress? I should have... Oh, God. Oh. It's okay. What happened, happened. So tell me. Did you at least have fun? Did you even hear what I said? Yes, but you know, you were supposed to... Don't tell me that you didn't, you know, have fun. Oh, Candy. Do you mean to tell me you wasted my gifts? No, I did not. I'll give it back to you, so don't worry. When will you ever learn to have fun? I already told you. In heaven. Now, can we talk about something important? Okay. <sighs> Good morning, Candy. It's me, Sayuk. What can I do for you? MD wanted me to give you this for consideration. Brian? One hundred and fifty projects. Twenty two employees. Ninety four point three four per cent. May all the way. Blue is topping. Get to September, blue is still topping, and see how everything rises in November and December. That will be all for today. Tomorrow we'll be talking about. Chest placement. Tomorrow we'll be talking about product placement. So, see you all tomorrow. Did I do something wrong? No. Why? Well, you're acting like I did with this change in behavior. If you're talking about the weekend, that's done and dusted, Brian. Really? Done and dusted? Is that what this is to you? Wait, Candy, you mean to tell me that you didn't for once feel anything? Like me? No. The only feeling I feel is embarrassment which I'm so trying to get over with. There you go. That's how I feel. 
To me, this was just a business deal that went horribly, horribly wrong in the end. Are you this conceited? I mean, are you this far gone down this lonely road that you can't see when someone else feels for you? This has never been about money, Candy, and you know it's something I thought by now you'd be sure of. If you can't see what's right in front of you, then there's really no point. Enjoy your break, Miss Ayu. Where did the time go, my darling? I'm afraid I must have failed you. Falling short. How I wish you were here. You used to know what to say, what to do. What am I to do now? How do I make things right? Help me. Don't you dare try to guilt me for that. Bring down your voice. Bring your voice. Why, Christian? Why should I bring down my voice? <laughs> oh, <laughs> so I should not wake the kids. Newsflash, we don't have any. You don't have to remind me all the time. We don't have kids, that's no fault of mine. Rachel, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rachel. Rachel! Rachel, is this it? The happy ever after you promised me? Is this it? Rachel! I think we need to redefine the word emergency. I'm serious. What is it? I keep seeing him. Who? Brian. Okay. Naked. Everywhere. And... And? I dream of him. The worst thing is... 
I think I'm liking it. Ooh, sounds to me like love. Love? Yeah. That can't be. Then why do you keep seeing him? I'm dreaming about him. What do you dream about? <laughs> Nothing. Well, that's nice. At least you get to do the nothing you don't do in your dreams. You, my friend, are in love. Love? With Brian? Mm-hmm. He's just... an intern. Doesn't make him any less of a man, Candy. Brian? <laughs> Drink up, my champion. Daddy needs you to be strong. <laughs> <laughs> of course. She will be. She? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no. I know what I did. This is a boy. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly did you do? Of course you know what I did. Oh, do you need some kind of reminder? <laughs> <laughs> Even when he's with me, he's with her. So, why didn't you go to mom? She would have known what to do. She'd send me back to him. Enjoy it until the very end. I'm tired. I'm tired. I cannot keep doing that. And I don't want to be by anybody who thinks otherwise. No. Why didn't you tell me this? We're supposed to be sisters. Tell each other everything. What happened? I was jealous. We spent our time competing needlessly. I was jealous of you. Yes. Of everything that you were that I'll never become. I was jealous of the smile that he had on his face each time you presented him with your report card. I had to look for a way of besting you. The boys, makeup, the clothes, everything that was not you. You did not have to be me. You did not. I did not. I didn't know. <laughs> Jealousy took the best part of me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I spoiled it all. I spoiled everything we could have shared. I'm so sorry. I'm so <laughs> <laughs> oh, for 
everything that's what it. I can't take my part of the blame. I'm sorry too. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and as for time and memories, would have time to create that. My sister. I'm sorry. <laughs> My sister. Nothing. I thought there was some cockroach on the bed. Inform the others we'll start early today. I need to quickly finish with this. Good morning, madam. Jonas? These are the files for human resource. Where is Brian? I sent for him. Uh, he's not here. What do you mean he's not here? It's only noon. He was supposed to be here for one month internship. His time here has elapsed, so he had to go somewhere else. Do you know where he went? No, madam. Why? After everything, a single goodbye would have killed him. Why would he just... Why are you smiling? This is not something to smile about. I thought she didn't care. Well? I don't. So why are you bothered that he left without saying goodbye? <laughs> Face it, Candy. She liked this guy. And you know he likes you too. Accept it. And then what? And then make a decision. Even if I wanted to, how? I don't even know where he is. Then call him. <laughs> she don't have his number. Really? Candy. I never needed it. <laughs> See, even I won't tell you where he was if I knew. Okay, we'll figure something out.
Who are you? Are you stupid? You come into my house and ask who I am? You what? Annabelle, what's going on here? Who is this? Do you know this guy? This is the guy I told you about. Ah, the one who won't take no for an answer, though he knows you are engaged and pregnant. Annabelle, me? Me? So you've been playing during all this time? After everything? Mr. Stan. What are you doing here at this time of the night? <laughs> All the meatballs you can eat, my baby. Baby Richard, when was the last time? I'm so sorry, baby. You abandoned me. I needed us to stick together as a couple. At the first sign of trouble, you abandoned me, Richard. I know. Baby, I know. I was a fool. I'm a fool. What's your, your thing you run to for solace? The baby's not mine. Is that why you came? Is that why you're sharing this crocodile tears? Richard, I loved you. I was faithful to you. I told you as a good wife should. What did you do? Tell me, what did you do? You ran out like a coward. A coward that you are. Now you are asking me to forgive you. Tell me. Tell me if the tables were turned, would you forgive me? You see? Leave. Leave! do you know, Christelle? I don't understand. How do you know he's the right one? I mean, 
How do you know? I wish I had the access you want, Candy. So how do I know? You don't. Just take a leap of faith and hope by God you're right. Is this it? Is this how it feels? Love? Silly, isn't it? But it was just a business deal. Business to me entails exchange of money. And you told me he did not collect any money from you. But what, what if I had not proposed the business deal to him? Would he have still told me he loved me? Candy, you know a lot of things, but you don't know about the things that really matter. He loved you. He loved you even before you proposed the deal. That's why he accepted it from the start. Mr. Mba, please. She left without notice. Why did you call me here? Not even a goodbye from you. Why did you call me here? Miss Ayuko, I have things to do. Just to say hello. Well, hello. Now, goodbye. How are you, Brian? I've been good. Now, what is this about? I feel it too. What you felt. I still feel it. Did you bring me here to further mock me? No. No. None at all. I can't sleep, Brian. I can't sleep. I spend my night thinking where you could be. Who you could be with. Wondering what you could be doing. Asking myself, if you're still thinking about me, wishing I did not disappear in your mind like a speck of dust in the wind.
wondering if this feeling is true. Wondering. The other day, I saw a cockroach, and I thought of you. You know I'm clumsy in these things, you know how it is. Come on, don't just stand there. Say something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for bringing this whole thing up. I'm sorry. So what am I? Your boyfriend? Oh, your cockroach guy. Pussy. So what now? Well, we can start. I think I'm cool with myself. I don't need no man to love me. Don't care if I'm true to myself. This broken hearts have had enough. Just wanna live with myself. I don't need nobody else. So keep your advice to yourself. Love is a thing for the rest. All I need is a man for the weekend. So my mama could get off my guess. And all we need to do is to pretend. Till the morning and it will be over. But when I look into his eyes. It's all this love I see Oh, it's just love in disguise How come I see him in my dreams? Could this be love, love, love? Oh, is it just life messing around with my feelings? Oh, could he be the one, one, one? I'm sure that I'm gonna wake up and think I'm just dreaming I never had to work so hard for mama's approval, no. 